Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today, I'm gonna try the clone of Sauvage that I made a couple weeks ago. So if you don't remember, a couple weeks ago, I've made a clone of Sauvage. I was like, you know, Sauvage, it's uh, just a couple of things put together and some people told me that I haven't analyzed the fragrance and really like haven't given a full proper analysis and the reason for that is I didn't thought it would be interesting to do that full analysis but since I know some people are want to see this I'm gonna do it so just to give you a little recap of what was the formula for the fragrance basically what I had was it, it gave like 12 something 13 milliliter what I did was I took a little bottle like this I've put maybe one milliliter of Edione three drops of Ambroxan at 10% in dipropylene glycol one drop of natural musk made from plant five drops of ethylene bracelet two drops of galaxolide three drops of vanilla uh, it's vanilla compound five drops of cashmere and one drop of a spice accord two drops of linalol one drop of anise essential oil and eight drops of uh, Bergamot, it's not essential oil, it's some compound that basically is the essential oil without the thing that is bad for the skin. So if you want to make it at home, you've got the recipe. And now we're going to try the smell on a paper strip. I've been also wearing the fragrance as I usually do for the test that I do like this. And I took notes and all, so I'm gonna give you the full review as usual. The first thing I get is the like a black licorice smell, and the, the star and eyes is basically what makes it take the taste of black licorice. I would say that's pretty much what it smells. I will look for other notes and uh, really take my time, but really, I would say it's pretty much exactly the smell of black licorice at least the opening on paper i get some spiciness and i don't think it's quite the spice uh, accord that i made maybe a little bit of this um a little bit of the cashmere into i don't quite pick up vanilla but i would say that the vanilla has an effect on the fragrance and it's probably something that gives it a lot of its sweetness that's pretty much it. On my skin, what I'm getting in the opening, there's the star and ice smell. I smell some pepper and some uh, some spices also, as I'm smelling on the little paper like this. As it dries down, there's some ambroxan that take over, and there's the Sichuan pepper also that uh, the pepper turns more into Sichuan pepper, which is made by the Kashmirian and then as it goes forward in the end what I'm picking up is mostly the musk. Neither on paper on my skin I'm picking up bergamot even though it's the most second most used ingredient and the idion I'm not really picking it up but idion is more something that does a reaction within the fragrance that transforms the fragrance and really something you'd be smelling unless really the way it's made is for it to be smelled. I think other stuff really make a bigger smell there. Longevity was 12 plus hour. I put it in the morning at the end of the day I was still smelling when I went to bed. Projection was good. Most bubble around me people was able to smell it. And for the complete note breakdown it's kind of complicated because uh, it's from the ingredient but with the ingredient I would say top notes are bergamot and star and ice 
the hard note are jasmine, spices, and lavender, and Sichuan pepper. And the base note are vanilla, musk, and ambergris slash ambroxan. So where I would see this fragrance, it's not a good business fragrance. It's more of a dating fragrance. Could be nice. It smells like black licorice. I think black licorice is. I'm not sure. The taste is something people don't really enjoy. So maybe for the smell, also I've never really did any research on black licorice and cyanide. How popular those smells are, so I cannot really tell you. But it will fall within that kind of fragrance. For summer, winter, I would say it falls in between. It's something that you would put... The smell is a bit winter, I would say, but it doesn't project like crazy. And in summer it might project a lot more and it might be too syrupy or something when you wear it. And as an everyday fragrance, I don't think it could be so good with the smell. I think black licorice, it's not... It's more like some food kind of smell, so it will be more toward dating. So the thing, I think the smell wouldn't be quite an everyday fragrance, but projection and longevity is good. So that's about it for the analysis of that fragrance. I hope you enjoyed. If it's the case, well, like and share. If you want me to analyze some fragrance, anything, that uh, you think could be interesting that I smell and tell you uh, my uh, impression of it, just write it in the comment. I'd be really happy to hear from you. So, thanks for watching. See you soon.